Yes, sir. Back at it like a... Uh, is, is that kind of Vince Dudas? Let's do this, man. As you guys can hear, there's still a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of something in my sinuses, but you feeling that it? Vat, vat, vatted. <laughs> Yo. And let's get to it, man. Let me scooch in here. Let's try to start this drill beat off with the drum. So we can start off with some hi-hats. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a drill. We can go with this one. This one's a little busy, so I'll kind of want to slow it down. Here we go. Maybe another pause right here. Oh, that's perfect. I actually kind of want to add some rolls in here too. Velocity is one huge thing you want to focus on with your hi-hats. I mean, you don't have to, but it just gives it that much more bounce. Add this bongo in here. Actually, the bongos work better. I'm going to use these perks to set up the main perk snare. I don't like this perk right here. Let's change that. I like to add a snare at the end of the of the bars. Right about here. Ooh. And, and it just gives the listener one more new thing to kind of grab onto. All right, boom. That's done. That could be pretty cool. Mm. That combined with the hi-hat rolls. And then let's just use the front half of this. Because that, that's too much. Let's just use that. Got to add that gunshot in there. Well, that's way too loud. We could use a plug for a drill beat. But you know what? Let me stick to the rules. Matter of fact, let's try this plug out. If I like it, I like it. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to use a plug 808 for this drill beat. Because you know why? Because I don't give a fuck. I don't care about the rules. I don't care if 808 Mellow doesn't use this 808. I don't care if drill beats are from 132 BPM to 139.7 BPM. I don't care about the rules and you should not care either. So fuck it, let's just try this out. If I don't like it, I'll change it. If I like it, I'll keep it, we'll see. All right, let's change it to the, the, the actual drill 808. All right, too much with these with these glides, too much. Let's keep it simple. We can actually use that to be honest. We just use that for now. Like Kenny Beat says, don't overthink shit, man. Woo kick. Let's turn this all the way up. There we go. Maybe we can separate the open hats over here. This 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 bounce is crazy. All right. So before we start on this melody, I want to try one more thing. I want to change it out for like a, a spins, but. As you can see, there's a little part over here looped. So what I just did is I went into the audio editor by pressing control E and I press control L. Well, I already did it. So it's going to kind of sound weird. When I do that, it pretty much just sets like a loop. So this is the spins 808, but it has like this little swelling part at the end. On the regular 808s, I can just sh kind of shorten it up and you won't even notice. fire right but at the end here the swelling kind of comes in it's subtle but it's definitely going to catch your ear take a listen to the ending of this 808 pattern we could do that let's just repeat that maybe add some more notes on top of here um octave definitely got to use that one feel like that would it would work way better if the strings weren't like bleeding into each other so goddamn much. Uh these are free VSTs by the way, completely free. Maybe if you press alt R, randomize these velocities. All right, that's cool. Um it's a little quiet, but let's just press alt R, triangle. That's kind of fire.
All right, that's interesting. We need uh, we need something orchestral, bro. Uh, let's see, man. Okay, that's a, come on, bro. Okay, that could work, that could work, that could work, that could work. Let's do, we can do an octave down right here. I feel like this needs to feel a little more full. I'm gonna control L, get an octave lower. Let's go to 15 and see what that sounds like with without the effects. This might be it. Let's actually put that on number 15. See what it sounds like. These notes are fire. We get a little pause before. All right, so let's just render that out all together. With the drums, let's go ahead and uh, get everything in here. That's hard. Um, I want to change the, the, the pitch of it though. Let's go down 400 cents. We went down two, so we need, we need to go down one, two, three. And all of these notes below A4 are way too low, so we're gonna move them up an octave. Oh, and I forgot about the reverse. Bro, peep, peep how that little swell comes back from the 808. And then when the hook comes, we could just pitch it up and knock it. <clears throat> All right, so boom, beat is done. That beat is fire, but I have another idea. So my guy Spaceman sent me some samples the other day and in making this beat, I just remembered, hold on, I could probably throw a different sample over these drums and have two different beats. As sample makers, we use the same starters or the same midis um, and make completely different samples. You know, it just makes us more efficient. So why not do that with drums too? I'm just gonna play the sample so y'all can hear it real quick. I adjusted some of the 808s. I made sure everything was in key. Um, everything else is pretty much the same. Now take a listen and uh, enjoy, enjoy the beat. I'm out of here. Gang, gang. Bacon. 